good to see you all, uh, colleagues. Uh, even if you don't want to introduce yourselves, at least we know each other. And I can see you're all in good health. Uh, welcome to this briefing. May I say first and foremost, Happy New Year. We are glad to see you here at the Commission. As many of you may be aware or recall, we last met here before the 12th August 2021 general elections. Uh, we have one agenda item today. We have called you for this briefing in view of the latest developments concerning the Kawata parliamentary by-election. Let me mention that the Electoral Commission of Zambia wishes to confirm receipt of a letter dated 7th January 2022 from the United Progressive Party, UPP, Kawata parliamentary by-election candidate, that's Mr. Livanda Francis, indicating his withdrawal from the forthcoming by-election. Further, the Commission today received another letter from Mr. Livanda dated 10th January 2022, clarifying his decision whilst also invoking the provisions of Article 52 of the Republican Constitution. So just for clarity, in terms of the correspondence that we have from the candidate, we have two correspondence, one dated 17th and one dated 10th January. 7th. 7th, sorry. One dated 7th January and the other dated 10th January, which is today. The Electoral Process Act under Section 31.2 provides as follows, and this is as it reads, a nomination submitted under Section 1 may be withdrawn at any time before the expiry of the period appointed for lodging nomination papers in respect of the constituency concerned. If the candidate delivers to the returning officer a written notice to that effect. This is what the Electoral Process Act states under Section 31, 2, and allow me to read that again so that it's correctly captured. A nomination submitted under subsection 1 may be withdrawn at any time before the expiry of the period appointed for lodging nomination papers in respect of the constituency concerned, if the candidate delivers to the returning officer a written notice to that effect. On the other hand, Article 52, 6 of the Republican Constitution provides that where a candidate dies, resigns, or becomes disqualified in accordance with Article 70, 100, or 153, or a court disqualifies a candidate for corruption or malpractice after the close of nominations and before the election date, the Electoral Commission shall cancel the election and require the filing of fresh nomination by eligible candidates and elections shall be held within 30 days of filing of the fresh nomination. Based on the initial correspondence of 7th January 2022, which I'm sure most of you have had sight because this was circulating on social media, the by-election would have proceeded as planned, as provided for by the Electoral Process Act No. 35 of 2016, Section 31.2, which empowers the Commission to reject a withdrawal and proceed with the election. I wish to advise that a withdrawal is clearly only permitted before close of nominations, as provided for under Section 31.2 of the Electoral Process Act. However, where a candidate has sought to invoke the provisions of Article 52.6 of the Republican Constitution, the law requires the cancellation of elections and this calls for fresh nominations for eligible candidates. In this case, Mr. Lubinda, Mr. Lubanda, apologies, in his letter, dated 10th January 2022, has invoked the provision of Article 52, 
of the Constitution of Zambia are for sale. Given that this is a constitutional provision, the Commission is bound to comply without any discretion to do otherwise. In this regard, the Commission hereby cancels the election for Kawata parliamentary by-election, pursuant to the said Article 52.6 of the Republican Constitution. And we will be conducting fresh nominations for Kawata constituencies on dates to be advised once a statutory instrument has been finalized. This therefore means that all campaign-related activities for Kawata constituencies have been cancelled and will only commence on the date of fresh nominations. Let me also mention that however, polls for Liangati and some country awards will proceed as scheduled on 20th January 2022. As the law requires fresh nominations in this instance, it entails that all aspiring candidates in the Kawata parliamentary by-election, including those that had originally filed in nominations, will be required to pay the prescribed nomination fee. And indeed, make free submissions as per requirement for nomination procedures. The Commission also recognizes that this process may inconvenience stakeholders, especially political parties, that had successfully fielded candidates as they will be required to file fresh nominations. Colleagues of the media, members of the public, may also wish to note that the ballot papers for Kawata parliamentary by-election have already been printed and are scheduled to arrive tomorrow, Tuesday, 11th January 2022, via Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. This is from Dubai. The resignation of Mr. Luanda comes with unwarranted costs, as the already printed ballot papers are a cost that needs to be paid for, in addition to other electoral activities, uh, costs that have already been undertaken and already ongoing. With this, political parties are further called upon to thoroughly scrutinize candidates they intend to field in any election to avoid the waste of resources and other inconveniences caused to the Commission, political parties, and indeed other stakeholders. With the foregoing, Stakeholders may note that there is an urgent need to review the electoral laws to enhance the integrity of the electoral process and indeed safeguard scarce public resources that could have otherwise been used for other developmental programs. The Commission working with other stakeholders, and this is something that has already been planned for in our 2022 plan, will soon embark on a thorough review of electoral rules in order to enhance the electoral process among other initiatives that we'll be introducing, uh, especially as we move towards uh, the general elections in 2026. I thank you.